You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship to blast skull anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let's get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home, all alive is all the treasure I need for real. That is all there is that it might not correct to see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been it's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yeah, I think we can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm sure they'll be alright here, don't you think? Let's leave Mario. Good idea. Ready, amigos, gusta! Alright, so, if you want to come back here, you can simply, um, go that way. You can still see the tear away in the wall. Month Star Day Circle. And thus our exciting adventure comes to an end, eh? The ship sailed smoothly on the way to Railport, and soon we saw the harbor off on our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something more treasure precious than the balloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew ready to die. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, flop you is blessing upon you. Flop you. How nice. At last we return, slaughtered the glory to my hometown, Sweet Rogueport. Of course it is only because of our courageous efforts that we return at all, hey? But of course you know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Please hands chance will bring us all together again someday. What? We're all leaving already? Ah, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You're anxious to continue your own adventure also, eh? What day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and wealth fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but for you should. However you say, shoot for the stars, eh? If ever you should be able to reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keel Hockey, just say the word, okay? I'll send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, confront day! Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ha! <laughs> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I permit to say hello to me. Alright, well. So, Mario, don't you think we should go to the door? We should go to the door. Yes, Flavio is off on his way out. Oh. Well, that must be an email from the princess. Dear Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being helped, but there's a co uh, computer named called Tech here. By cooperation with this tech, I managed to see some of the fiend's data. Tech is currently analyzing it. As strange as it sounds, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be okay? Okay, Princess Peach. All right. We got a lot of work to do. Of course, now that there's actually a lot that we could do now. Um, there's a lot we actually could do. Hey, there's Luigi. And Jet. All right. Well, we'll listen to you later. Well, we'll come back to you later. Let's see, hang on. What's this? What's this? Be? I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Ha! All right. Now, this is probably something you've been eyeing for most of the game ever since you got here in Roadport. This boat panel. Come this way. There's a little bit of a, uh... wonder who lived here. HP drain. It drops Mario's attack by one, but regain one HP per attack. So, first off, before we do anything, there's some import- there is, um, some stuff we could do. Oh, email. First thing I want to do is there's actually something I want to cook. But to do that, I 
want this. Hang on, where is it? Oh, I don't have it. Well, I'll save it for later. I kind of, since I'm very ahead of schedule, I want to try to, um... I'm going to put this back. Actually, I'll hold on to the whack as well. There is something I want to do, but I'll probably save it for later. For now, there is a trouble that we're going to want to do some stuff here. If you come over here, you'll see Merlin outside. Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a pretentious sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt it'll be important to you as soon as you as your friends. If you figure this out, mystery, come and tell me immediately. So that's actually what I want to do next. But before I do, I want to go to the trouble center. And start up a trouble. Tell that person. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you about it in my house at Twilight Town. Okay, we're gonna go there next. But before we do, let's go take on this quest. Before we do anything, there's actually something now. There's another break in the wall here that you could do. You can go in here to this pipe. And you'll find this guy here. Hee hee hee, you've come quite a ways. This is Chet Rippo's adjustment house. If you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. So, who needs some adjustment? So, uh, Chet Rippo here is similar to what he is in the first game. He can raise your stats. However, at the same time, you will have to drop one of them. Now, in this game, he's a lot better than he was in the first game because, one, he's more upfront about what he does, and two, he lets you choose what stats drop. So, I think I'm going to do that because, honestly, I have a lot of HP, and um, I don't really think I need that much. Now, this is the, um, the gateway of doing the Danger Mario strategy. Which, if you, um, basically reduce your HP to 5 and equip a bunch of, um, um, equip a bunch of uh, other badges that, like, Power Rush, Last Stand, and Close Call, which will make your, make, basically make them work all the time. I could do that, which I have done before, but I'm not gonna do that for the sake of, um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna raise my BP twice, because, um, that's all I feel like doing now. Alright, there we go. So I'll, I'll keep... So now we can equip a lot more badges. I'm gonna put some on now. Let's see. Let's see what badges I can put on now. I'll put on Bump for now because that way I don't have to fight anything. Let's keep going. Now we're gonna want to head over. There's some other stuff we could do. We're gonna want to go this way. And we got another Shine Sprite. Alright, perfect. There's a Shine Sprite over there. Okay, so I thought about it. I'm not going to do Chapter 6 tonight. I'm going to stick with my original schedule. Now what we're going to want to do is... Um, I think now what we're going to want to do is, um... 
head to Hooktail Castle and find out what Merlin was talking about. Alright, so... Here we are. Okay, here we are. Here at the, uh, at this room. This room had the, uh, the spikes. And you can see there is a crack in the wall. What does this mean? Well, finally, we could break it. And now, we have a... Uh, thing in here. With an up arrow. What does this do, you may ask? I don't know. Let's take it back to Merlin and see what he says. Now we're gonna wanna head over this way. Now, we're going to want to go over this way. Let's talk to Dazzle and see what badges we can get. Uh, nothing really much I really want, honestly. Just, uh... Now, if you go over here, there's a crack in this pillar. Now you can just break it down. Now you can just blow it up and you don't have to curl into a tube each time, which is nice. So that's good. There's one more thing I want to do before we go back to the Thousand Year Door. Actually, you know what? Uh, before we do that, I'm going to come over here. We have that trouble we got to do in Twilight Town, so let's go do that. Let's go um, to Twilight Town first. Let's go talk to Eve. This is Eve. Oh, Mario, you've accepted my shovel request. Well, it's hard to talk about in front of the children. Can we step outside? I need you to help me to meet someone. His name is Podly! That dick from before! We had the same dream to be stars of the musical stage. We shared our dreams and shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in the broad shroom play as the leading lady, Podley left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I will only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Podley, why? My dream was to always be with you. Not a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while I was in rehearsal. I forgot about Podley and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now I've forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Podley was running a Chocola shop in Rogueport. Can you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that Pure Hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. Yes, Pure Hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Podley and ask how he feels about me. Oh great, so not only... So not only has Podley kept... Bobbery upset for all these years, he broke the heart of a lovely lady. As if this guy was not even a is not a, the big the, the biggest a-hole in Mario. He's an even bigger a-hole now. How terrible. Before we do anything, let's go over here. There is another thing I want to do. Alright, so if we go over here. Oh, Magikoop is now, uh, populate this area. If we go through here, there's another, uh, uh, sailboat room. And now Koopa Trolls patrol that way. Those are just normal Koopa Trolls, not, um, the dark ones that we before. This one, th this takes a bit, a few, a little bit of time. We have we have quite a few 
uh, enemies here, including one that we saw in the Pit of 100 Trials. I wonder if... Oh, we still have to fight him, okay. So we still have to fight this guy. So this is a Spunya, which we saw in the pit. Let's actually tattle him, because we never got to. Alright, HP is 12, attack is 7, oh wow. Alright, uh... Yeah, let's take him out. Uh... All right, we still got a bunch of star points for that guy. All right, perfect. So there's two shine sprites here. There's actually a third one. We have quite a few already, which is good because we're gonna want this. Uh, the only question is, I think there is a way to get that. that badge over there. Actually, what do I do? I can use Coops. And you get the Defend Plus badge. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you can get that yet. Well, I guess we can't get that yet, or maybe we can. I, I feel like there has to be a way to get it. No, not Miss Mouse. Let me try something. I'll try some. No. All right, I'm gonna come back for this later. But just remember that it's there, so I'm probably gonna get it off screen when I get the opportunity to. Keep going. Uh, say hello to the pit. All right, let's hold the star aloft and see where it takes us next. Location of a crystal star is located on our map. And where will it take us? All right, let's pop it on the professor fellow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah.
Great news, my friends. The next Crystal Star is at Poshley Heights. Wait a sec. I've heard only the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes. And I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine of the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fears that monsters are dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Well, that's a relief. Sun's positively scintillating, dear boy. Point us there. That's the best part. You can ride the most famous train of them all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam excursion, the, uh, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but must you have some fa wealth or fame to ride that train? Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta, Don Pianta for help for this too. Ah, no. Tail will be sorry. Mm -mm, impossible. Can't do it. The man's reprehensible. Well, Drat, I suppose there's nothing for a day, old boy. If we must, we must. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Alright. Excellent. We're reset. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You can just handle the end of things. Alright. Uh, there's still a few more things I want to do before we speak to Don Pianta. First, I want to finish that trouble with Eve. And then, uh, there's something else I wanted to do as well. Let's go first. There's a, another, a, um, another, um panel here. If we come over here. Oh. Ah. Much, much, much. Oh, thank goodness. The double dip. So that's another double dip badge. Um, that, like the one we got in the pit. So, you're probably wondering what happens if you equip more than one of them, because in the first game, there was the triple dip badge, so in this game, if you equip two double dips, you will can unlock triple dip, which is kind of cool, actually. Alright, so we're going to want to see Don Pianta. But before we do, we're just going to have to finish this trouble that we... We're gonna want to finish this trouble in advance. Actually, wait, oh, before we do any of that, we have to show Mer uh, Merlin this up arrow. What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? Of course! Red ball. This is the Ultra Stone, so that was what the star sign meant. I picked this up at the flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I could power up your partners even more! Ooh. So now, we can now Ultra Rank our partners. So, we have quite a few Shine Sprites now, so we should definitely take advantage of what we got. First off, I want to upgrade Bobbery. Shazibi! Shazubi! Alright, let's power up some more. So, we could- so, I could upgrade Miss Mouse, but I don't want to do that right now. Uh, hmm. I'm going to upgrade Goombella. She can learn a move called Rally Wink, which allows her to uh, give Mario an extra turn. Which, that could be useful. Oh, yeah. Uh, Koops? Eh, not so useful, honestly. Flurry can make Mario dodgy. I'm gonna go with uh, Vivian. Vivian's another good party member to upgrade. Shazubi! Alright. Power up some more. Uh, Bobbery is also good, because he learns Bob on Blast, which is a move that attacks all enemies and does a ton of damage. Vivian's extra move is, isn't so special. Infatuate just confuses enemies. It's not that special, but I would rather have her stronger. Alright. Let's 
power. Alright, power up one more. Let's see. There's Flurry, Hasuni, and let's see. I'll go with I'll go with Flurry, honestly. Shazibi. Shazubi. So now we've upgraded a few of our party members. We don't have enough shine sprites to upgrade all of them yet, but... Alright, perfect. So, let's go talk to Podly, the dick. Welcome to Podly's place. Alright, let's see. What's that you say? What is it, Mario? You look serious. What? Eve? I don't know such person. But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And that's all you need because I'm a little busy. Oh, what? What did you say? He said, I saw he said. Well, let's go tell her that, I guess. And there's Eve's house. Have you met with Podly? What did he say? So Podly has forgotten about me. That's fine. Alright, you know, I have... Mommy, so hungry. Food, food. Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from Zesty Shop. Mario, you have one, too. You get a meteor meal, which recovers 7 HP and recover and gives you, um... Uh, more HP as you go along. Which is pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna want to go through the rusty pipe. Now we're gonna want to go speak to Don Piazza. Well, actually, before we do, I'm gonna head to the trouble center to see where our next trouble is. Let's go to the trouble, because there's, there was one other trouble there. Here we go, Goom Goom. I'm pretty happy living out here in Kyoho Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please. Oh, well. Oh, no. All right, we have to go to Kyoho Key. So, before we do that, let's go talk to Don Kiyanta. That guy wants a girlfriend. I don't know about. Ooh, we got six viewers now. Thank you all for watching, by the way, if you're watching. And if you like what you see, if you like more Paper Mario, please come and please follow my channel. Let's go talk to Don Pianta. Oh! There's something else I forgot here. Come over here. There's a shine sprite. Awesome. Let's go through the shop. He's not looking too good. Ugh, Francesca. Aw, poor boss. The big man's been sick ever with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our other boss, Frankie, the, is gone. The boss in shambles. What's the syndicate to do? That scuffy gang of puff thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. They run off about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for you? What? Tickets for the Ritzy is straight around? The for the XS Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that roller wig dig? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, let's give me that tickets. That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't see it. The boss like this. 
If we just knew where the newly words were, we could take the boss to see them. Hang on, those two fondly folk, Frankie and Francesca, from Keel Hall Key. Who's the other one? What, now? what did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Piazza is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you lie, I'll turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We love our sweet girl ourselves. We can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young Francesca, and we'll do... All right, that, that, sounds like a, that sounds like a good deal. Now see if that's better. I knew once you understood your predicament, you couldn't refuse. No, all right, well... Um... Let's move onward, then. So let's head to Keel Hall Key, and we have to go there anyway, because, um... Uh, we have a trouble to do there, so I think that's a pretty good, um... I think that's a pretty good, um... Way to keep things going. Let's see what Charlington has to sell. Ooh. I could go for... Uh, well, I'm gonna go for... You know, uh, I don't have enough. I can't afford that. Alright, well, let's head back to Kill Hall Key. Francesca. They are actually over here. Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? Will you do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. At a time like this. You see, I, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave without a, a, a otherwise may eat it. It must be somewhere behind here that Skull Rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Should we forget about that ring for now and check out the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore. Of course I love you, my little baby bird. He just loves food, apparently. Oh, none of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 nine, nine times. All right. I love you, 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 I love you. <laughs> 11 times. I love you, 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 I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, 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 oh. Is that what it's be like in a relationship? Oh, man. Good thing I'm not one. That's actually not true. I kind of wish I was one. I've never had a girlfriend before. I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby. You're such a silly Billy. Oh, now my little pre friend. Let's find that ring. All right. We better, all right. We better help them out. Now, before we, now, so which means we have to go towards where the Skull Rock is. Okay, let's keep going. Check the bushes. Oh, there it is. It's a tiny little ring. A pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. How beautiful. Before we do anything, we're going to want to head into the Pirate's Grotto because there's actually, um, the trouble that we have to do is in there. All right, in here, we have this guy. Hey, thanks for taking my trouble. All the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy the island, but I just feel lonely. There's no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm just chatting up sea turtles here. 
All right, a girl, petite, younger than me, and pretty drop, pretty and pretty, not drop dead hot. Yeah, cute little Goomba gal. I don't know, Goombella's. We're kind. Of, I mean, Goombella and I aren't really exclusive, but I don't know. Why not? Hey, how's it going? Did you happen to find a cute girl for? Whoa, yeah, wow, wow, she's cute, really cute, and a ponytail, man. Perfect, slam dunk, man, so slam dunk. This may be a bit soon, but I have to confess my love to this girl. Er, uh, uh, hi, do you believe in love for a say angel? Because you know I do, and what are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. Okay, well, at least he doesn't have to say it a hundred times. I think I have loved you since before I was born. Please go out with me. Uh, oh, jeepers, this is awkward. I, uh, I'm going out with Mario. Honestly, I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. What? You have a boyfriend? Man, I've had enough of this. Peace! Poor guy. Yikes, I feel like I did something totally brutal. Well, Mario, why don't you take this to for dealing with that guy? Alright, a couple's cake. Now let's get moving. All right, trouble's over, so now we can get back to- we can give this ring back to Frankie and Francesca and get out of here. Here we are. Here's the ring. Ah! That's it! That's my ring! You found it! Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy! We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go! Well, so anyway, we'll be out of the dock. Hurry, please. All right, let's do that. Let's head back. 